Today, we'll be tying an open wound fly suggested by our Discord admin. To start this pattern, we'll attach some black Vivas thread to our hook shank, snapping the excess free. We will then insert a small lead-free wire in order to hold our bead in place, secure tightly, and helicopter the excess free. We will then wrap our thread back just before the bend of the hook. Grab a turkey tail, selecting three fibers, and secure them tightly to the back of the fly. Once complete, we can snap the excess free and wrapping back towards the bead. We will then grab some silver brassy wire, insert that into our bead, securing it tightly to our hook shank and wrapping back towards the tail. We will then begin to build up a body transition towards the head of the fly. Once finished, we can begin wrapping our wire forward and we will do so in open spirals, keeping the wrap spaced as evenly as possible. Once we reach our thread, we will secure, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and helicoptering the excess free. We will now grab some salmon colored UV synthetic dubbing and create a small hot spot just behind the bead of our fly. We want to make this dubbing ball as tight as possible. For this next step, in order to give it an extra buggy look, we will create what's known as a dubbing loop. Inserting some black hair's ear, spinning it, and using a tool to brush it out. With the dubbing loop complete, we will begin to wrap it around the head of our fly, and as you can see, it gives it an extra buggy look. Secure tightly, snipping the excess free. Once finished, brush everything out to give it a nice buggy look. And that is the open wound. Although I've never personally fished it, it's easy to see that this will be highly successful. If you would like to make fly suggestions for the channel, you can visit our Discord server below. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.